swine flu breeds in pigs, spreads them from person to person. It's infectious. Swine flu found so far in California and now Texas. On the daily swine flu. 25 students and staff. The story is the growing concern over an outbreak of a mysterious flu-like illness in Mexico. Now from Simola, Texas, Patrick and Robin Henshaw, their family has been hit hard by the swine News at 10. My name is Randall and I'm working on KCW Swine Flu. Take a look at this poster here at the local high school career center lunch program. What is not being done in these schools during these programs is protecting the students from the swine flu. Something as simple as this could protect every student from the swine flu. How many students sneeze, cough, scratch their hair, scratch their armpit, spread disease in every which way possible and it's this little barrier that can really protect students from dying from the swine flu. Later tonight, we'll discuss this and more. Stay tuned. Hello and good evening again, 5.30, news at 10. This is Randall Sakowitz, a 9 w 10 swine flu and what's not being done to protect your children. Tonight, I'd like to discuss what, <coughs> excuse me, sir, sir, did you just sneeze? Yes. Are you kidding? Excuse me, sir, you need to put this on. Put this on, please, right now. Put this on. Why? Sir, don't ask me any questions. We'll talk about it right now. Can you put that on, please? Just please? Oh, my God. Can you believe this? I, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sir, sir, do you know that you just sneezed? Yeah, I know. I just do you know that how many germs you just spread all across this hallway? Yeah, it's normal. Have you heard about the swine flu? No. What do you know that the swine flu can kill you? No. Have you had any bacon lately? Yeah, this morning. You had bacon this morning? And you just sneezed. Sir, you are dangerous of the swine flu. Swine flu can kill you, and you just contracted every which way to get it on yourself. Did you know that? No. I How have you been feeling lately? Feeling fine. You're feeling fine? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. How about now? Well, no, I'm starting to feel a little nausea. You're starting to feel a little nausea. Here it comes. Sir, you need to get to the hospital right now. The swine flu can kill you. I am not kidding. Get a bottle of hand sanitizer, wash your entire body in it, take a shower in it, take a bath in it, get to the hospital. Sir, you're in major danger. Look, is that an iPhone? Yeah. Look up the swine flu right now. Honestly, I'm calling my mom. Breaking news here. Breaking news here. This gentleman does not know Hi, what mom. the swine flu is. Yeah, I'm a... Uh... I believe I have a swine flu and I need to see the doctor right now because I believe I just got a bunch of people sick. Call 911. Okay. We can have this man arrested. This is a crime. Okay. All right. Uh, you come here right now. Okay. All right. Sir, are you going to have a second care of? Yes, my mom. Oh, that is what, sir, do not waste any time. Go now. Don't, don't zip up your fly. Go now. Go now. <laughs> go now. Sir, go now. <laughs> Tracy. This is just another stunning example of what is not being done to protect people from the swine flu. Good evening and welcome to what you really need to know about the swine flu pandemic. In this urgent health alert, we will be answering questions such as the cold hard facts about the flu and the swine flu. How concerned should you really be about the swine flu? And what is the single best thing you can do right now? to protect you and your family from the threat of the flu. And also additional steps you should take to protect yourself from the swine flu coming up at 10. Just a few brief facts about the swine flu. The flu is spread through coughing, sneezing, contact with everyday objects, such as simple things like your glasses, your, your forks, utensils, keyboards, phones, Drinking fountains, exercise equipment, all these things that can be infected with the swine flu. And because the flu spreads so easily, anywhere from 25 to 50 percent of the population can become infected during an epidemic. So, what exactly should you know about the swine flu to protect your family? Stay tuned for the news. Okay, welcome back. That was riveting news. I am riveting. I am shaking in my boots because I know how dangerous the swine flu is. Oh, hi there. How are you today? I'm oh, great, thank you. That's wonderful news, wonderful news. Welcome to KCW News 530 at 10. Oh, what, What's your name? Um, Miranda. Miranda, yeah, nice to meet you. Excuse me, what is your business here tonight? I'm just picking up my son. Oh, and how old is your son? He's 14. 16, all right, Miranda, ma'am. And uh, do you know what the swine flu is? Um, I know a little bit about it. 
meal a little bit. Did you get your flu shot? Oh, no, not yet. No. Have you had any bacon? Do you own a pig, pet a pig, or love a pig? No. <laughs> okay. Do you feed your son bacon? Um, sometimes, yes. Anytime soon? Um, a couple days ago, yeah. How is he feeling? He's very healthy. Are you sure? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Have you talked to him lately? Oh, yes. This morning. And you, your 16-year-old son's going to come out this door? <laughs> yes, he okay, does. Okay, and, and here's what I want to tell you. Have you seen him sneeze, <laughs> cough, at all? Yes. Your son has his wife look. Do you know that that could kill him? Really? Put this on right away, man. Put this on. See, I I have mine here, but I'm protected by this unique mic made by Johnson & Johnson that protects me from it while I discuss this with you. That will protect you from the swine flu forever. Never take it off. Here, and take this one for, for your son. It doesn't matter. Here, it's got my terms right off it. I have a, I have a magical, magical, you know, I'm an anchor man. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go get a vaccine. I want you to get all your family vaccine. I want you to get another yeah. vaccine. I want you to take a bath and hand sanitizer, okay? And never cough or sneeze again. Can you do that? Oh, wow, yes, yes. I've just saved your life. Thank you. Did Thank you know you that so that was going to happen to you tonight? Oh, no. Oh, Thank that's you. so super fit. Oh, you know, anytime, anytime. Okay. Thank Stay you. away from swine Thank you. Hate pigs. Thank you. All right. That just goes to show you how much people do not take it seriously. Take a look at these. Words to inspire by, absolutely. Do not, do not contract swine flu and protect yourself at all costs. Jimmy? <laughs> Hello, pigs and the stars of swine flu. Blame the laboratory for this awful story. Pigs and the stars of swine flu. No, we've been betrayed. The strain of fears man made. Main diseases after pigs. Everyone throws dirty digs. I'm a virus, people think. I'm not sick, I'm clean and pink. I'm your friend, your little buddy. I don't know why you feel crabby. Don't blame me, I'm not the cause. Government should change the laws. When you talk about things like this, you talk about... Okay, welcome back. That was riveting. It was actually riveting. I am shaking in my boots because I know how dangerous the swine flu is. Oh, hi there. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. That's wonderful news, wonderful news. Welcome to KCW News 530 at 10. Oh, what, What's your name? Um, Miranda. Miranda, yeah. nice to meet you. Excuse me, what is your business here tonight? I'm just picking up my son. Oh, and how old is your son? He's 14. 16, all right, Miranda, ma'am. And uh, do you know what the swine flu is? Um, I know a little bit about it. You know a little bit. Did you get your flu shot? Oh, no, not yet, no. Have you had any bacon? Um, not recently. Do you own a pig, pet a pig, or love a pig? No. <laughs> okay. Do you feed your son bacon? Um, sometimes, yes. Anytime soon? Um, a couple days ago, yeah. How is he feeling? He's very healthy. Are you sure? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Have you talked to him lately? Oh, yes. This morning. And you, your 16-year-old son's going to come out this door? <laughs> yes, he okay, does. Okay, and, and here's what I want to tell you. Have you seen him sneeze, <laughs> cough, at all? Yes. Your son has his wife. What? Do you know that that could kill him? Really? Put this on right away, man. Put this on. See, I I have mine here, but I'm protected by this unique mic made by Johnson & Johnson that protects me from it while I discuss this with you. That will protect you from the swine flu forever. Never take it off. Here, and take this one for, for your son. It doesn't matter. Here, it's got my terms right off it. I have a, I have a magical, magical, you know, I'm, I'm an anchor man. Thank you. Thank now, you. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go get a vaccine. I want you to get all your family vaccine. I want you to get another yeah. vaccine. I want you to take a bath and hand sanitizer, okay? And never cough or sneeze again. Can you do that? Oh, wow, yes, yes. I've just saved your life. Thank you. Did Thank you know you that so that was much. gonna happen to you tonight? Oh, no. Thank oh, you. that's so super Thank fantastic. You. Oh, you know, anytime, anytime. Okay. Thank Stay you. away from swine flu. Thank you. Hate pigs. Thank you. All right. That just goes to show you how much people do not take it seriously. Take a look at these. Words to inspire by, absolutely. Do not, do not contract swine flu and protect yourself at all costs. Jimmy? <laughs>